All right, guys, we are back on the Sky Factory server, and I died right here. <laughs> I don't think you can see my waypoint, right? No, I can't see your waypoint. Yeah. So I got to fix this real quick. Get rid of you. All right. Well, that's embarrassing, but what are you doing? What are you... I noticed you got a little extra addition over there. Oh, yeah, I do. I do have some extra stuff that I've been uh, tinkering with. Um, over here, I set up a little thing for our cows that have been spawning. Sweet. It, it looks so sad. Like, it's so sad. It's just all sad little cobblestone. <laughs> and you go in here, and you see, and you look. It's so sad. These little cows all alone. Yeah. Just have the little little corrals with the tanks set up so you can just go and collect the resource from them and drop it in the tank and, uh, and just keep going. Just kind of walk down the line, pop them, and throw it in there. Nice. And we'll eventually automate this? Yes. Yes, cool. we will. Some of these we won't need as much. Like the bronze will be fine to have. The um, energized glowstone will be really valuable at times. But then there's like the tin tank. Eh. I don't see that one as being as like amazing as Man. some of these. So some of these yeah. will just fill up, and I like how you did them, where eventually the entire thing will be the gate itself will be the liquid molten stuff. Oh yeah. All right, this uh this stuff down here, the purple stuff, the yeah. Man Manilin, it's probably one of the best ores in the game. Like Isn't it's it, like yeah in game and, stuff. Yeah, like in Tinker's Construct, like it makes the best tools Sweet. known to man. So we still have to get into Tinker's Construct, so I need to make sure to remember that. But we'll get yeah, there. we'll get there. Yes, one of these days. What have you been working on? Um, well, not much. Just some Minicio stuff. Minicio so stuff. I can eventually upgrade here in a little bit our armor. Um, over by the mob spawner, I did get something over here called a sickle. A I can never say it right. Cyclic assembler. Yeah, it sounds about right. So for my people, you just throw it in there and it auto crafts the stuff. It'll actually just create that for you. And then over here we have those bags and it automatically does stuff for you. So that's great whenever we want to just auto craft these bags when we have our ME system. So, so what mean. what do you need? How do you tell it to do what? Um oh. What was that? Oh, we got a that, blitz. That thing. Take care of that. Boom, boom, boom. Cool. Take that, Enderman. <laughs> um, as far as this is concerned, you just need to make a blueprint, which is just uh, lapis, one lapis and two pieces of paper. And so you have the blueprint, and you just use the little schematic device that's right beside it. Yeah. And you just make it. And, that, and then you automatically have a blueprint, and then you just throw the items in there. You need to make sure you have power, um, but it doesn't take much power at all, so it really doesn't consume that much. That's cool. Yeah. What are you using to power it? Um, nothing right now. I just literally gave it power, and it's worked for the past many, many assembles. So. All right. Oh, cool. Yes. Good deal. But before we get going, I know you're what you're going to be working on. Yeah, I'm going to be working over here. I'm going to make a, a tree farm, an automated tree farm. Sweet. With the uh, mine factory reloaded stuff. Similar and to the planter harvester stuff? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Just for trees? Mm-hmm. And get that going so we have all the, the different wood and saplings and all that heading up for us. So. Cool. And then I'm going to try to get the ME system, which is going to take about two seconds to put together. And then I am going to transfer some stuff and maybe even get some auto, the cyclic um, assemblers for some of these ores to try to auto smelt. So maybe we can get that going too. Sounds like you've good. got, yeah, sounds like you've got a lot of good stuff planned. Yes. So I'm going to quickly need your help because I need a little bit of power. Okay. Let's see. We need this, this, and this. 
So I know that the most important thing with these is the ME controller. That's the brains, the hearts behind everything with this. What do you think? Maybe you put it right here? I would put it as close. Well, you could put it however you want. Yeah, yeah that'll work. work. I Perfect. figure this will be just like a first stage thing, and then once we really want to overpower it, we'll kind of go crazy with it. That'll work. And then can you set this right beside the drives right beside it, I believe? Or do they actually have to connect? I think uh, you used to be able to just set it right beside it, and it would work. Well, let's try it. I guess I could just put the cables in the back. And yeah. you throw the storage in there. We got room for six more, so we'll put those. We'll do those later. And then we need this. And then you just plop this on here, very simple like. For now, we'll just make it look hideous like that. We have a crafting terminal. <laughs> make it look hideous. Yes. My goodness, sir, you have way so many energy cells. Yeah, yeah. If you, uh, if you need an energy cell, we got one for you. My goodness, you're mad. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, <laughs> I am. So I figure we will start with the 4K cells that we got there, but very quickly I'm just going to upgrade to the 64 and make a couple of different ME drives just to go crazy with it. Dude, we can go crazy with it. All right, so let's just gather all this stuff up. And, um, I got bedrockium, so now I'm slow. <laughs> Put that up. Now I know that for something like this, whenever I do it and we have power, always to make sure you have at least one backup power source just in case you need it for accessing this. Don't ask me how I know that. I learned the hard way. <laughs> the best way to learn is the hard yeah, way, right? Not all the time, especially when it comes to power. You have to start literally from cobblestone to make what you need because everything's in your ME system. All right, so we got some power. It should this thing should turn right on. Now this thing continuously sucks power, so we always need to make sure we have a nice constant flow, but the way you're going to set this up, we never ever have to worry about that. Yeah, you should never have to worry about it. <gasps> da -da! It shouldn't, yeah, it shouldn't take enough to... Oh, look at this! <laughs> it's all in. <laughs> yes, sir, it is working. Let me throw those in there. Oh my goodness. And now it's just a matter of transporting the stuff, right? Yes. Yes it is. Oh. So I'm going to I'm not going to do all this on camera, but I'll do a, a lot of this on camera just to have in there. That's good. Yeah, we should be good on energy for this. <laughs> yeah, we'll be fine. And we're eventually going to add more layers to it, so that'll be good too. Oops. You can always search for what you want. So if I wanted redstone, I just pulled the redstone. And eventually we'll have a crafting section. Um, they'll do these patterns and you just automatically craft it. You can actually just craft it right here and pick it out and throw it out. Or um, if you wanted to be silly about it, you could go like this and then just... Oh, and it's shared. So you do <laughs> We might we might need a uh, two two crafting terminals. Oh no, that's fine. I'm just one, one for you and one for me. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> cool. Fun. All right, sir. We're already on our way. So literally, once you get the harvester thing, we'll we'll pull it down from there. I do want to pull the items over from the mob system eventually too, so that'll be good. Okay. Oop. Let's see, what else? Pull all this iron out. Beautiful. So as far as like the cyclic assembler stuff, can we we can just hook it right directly into the ME controller, right? You should be able to. And actually, um, if we're gonna automate it, um, you, you probably don't need the cyclic assembler. You can do it all through here using the 
the thing that we're looking to build. It auto crafts in here, or you, you can, have to, or you have to set it to craft it. Uh, we can, you can get it to import and export. Uh, okay, now remember, uh, this is AE one that I'm thinking of. I haven't okay. run through it with AE two, um, but you can get it to where it'll import and export into things. So we could just have it um, run into the AE system, and then certain things running out of it okay. um, into the the. Now, I'm going to leave this better barrel here with the cobblestone because I figure let's not waste a ton of dry space just with cobblestone stuff. Yeah. Does that sound sounds right? Good. Yeah, sounds good. Because we are limited, especially initially, with how much space we've got. And the way it works is, at least from my understanding, is you got these drives. So, how many bytes used is like you can have 4,000 items in there, but you can only use 63 different types. So, if you had mm -hmm. one of each thing, your drives are full. You can't put anything else in there, even though it's up to 4,000 things, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Put all this in there. Um, I'm going to leave this. Bum -bum. It's such a weird perspective whenever you have the bedrockium because it also zooms in. With the slowness. Yeah, it really does. It you feel so weird. Yeah. When you've got it. There we go. Beautiful. So this will make things just so much easier as far as constructing. Do you ever go as far as to like get the can't you do like a almost iPad version of this that connects to the ME system. You don't actually ever have to go to the ME. Oh, man. Um, whenever I was on World War Minecraft, we had that. Okay. Um, and that, yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, and I'm forgetting, like, how far away you could, you could use it. I thought there was one, and I could be wrong. I thought there was one that... Um, I mean, like, it didn't matter where you were. It's kind of like an ender, ender chest. It, or they have ender pouches and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, have like an ender chest that everywhere you go, you can add it in. Nice. All right, so let's break this down. Now, as far as the cactus seeds are we still wanting to collect those just put everything in here and we don't have to worry about it yeah that'll work I don't okay. think we'll need that many um, cactus seeds so well I mean like all the future cactus seeds just go ahead and collect those as well from the automatically collect them from the sieves might as well okay cool let's see we got gravel. Might as well take this. My user, my uh, viewers are seeing me accidentally press E every single time I try to exit the crafting terminal, just because that's what I'm used <laughs> to doing. There we go. Let's see, grab some sand. The really cool thing I love about this is you can just keep building something and building it and building it. Right. And just you pull can just the... have a ton in there. Right. Put this in there. I just love the fact that it's like an infinite storage from here on out. Oh, yeah. We're rolling now. Mm, we beat the game, right? <laughs> We are officially done. That's it. We have beaten Oops. Sky Factory. Go ahead and do two of those. And Piston. Beautiful. Boom, boom, boom. Um, I'm going to leave the Igneous machine okay. off. I'll break the thing and put the um, obsidian in there, but I'm just going to leave it off for now. Sounds good. Yeah. 
It also makes it so much easier to find stuff just because you can quickly search for it. Oh, yeah. I love that piece of it, too. Come on, Iron. There you are. Here we go. Goes up. Awesome. All right, so we've got to, we have to pull from the chest, from the Manicio farm, and we can all we can have that all just tie into one big thing, right? That goes straight to the ME system as long as you're outputting. I do believe you can. Okay. Um, it's when it gets fickle whenever you just try to input randomly. Beautiful. We got 322 blocks of redstone, 1,143 <laughs> blocks of iron. So uh, I think we're doing good. Yes. I think we got the resources for now. Got that going, so that's good. Oops. Beautiful. All right, so I said I was going to do that, and then, oh. Well, we're going to lose those. Okay. Um, what was the other thing I said I was going to do? So I don't really need to put up, put together the cyclical thing then, huh? No, you don't. All right. Especially now that we're doing this. So, so with the fluid, is it better to use the fluid ducts or the, the transfer pipes? For what? For transporting items from the Manicio farm, your um, tree farm, and the mob farm. Which would be better? Uh, I I think it would be better doing the. Um, I mean, it's it's cheaper to do the uh, transfer pipes. Okay. Um, so let's do that then. And you can you can just put that right into this, right? Uh, you should be able to. It should be okay. um, compatible. Okay. Check and just connect it in. Okay. Cool. I'm actually going to make a second transfer or panel. Let's see. I think. What do I do I need? Oops. Dun dun dun. And here we go. Huh. Huh? What happened? Nothing. Oh. Nothing happened. <laughs> that makes me think something happened. <laughs> Nothing happened. I see a lot of redstone. Hmm. Alright, so I want... This one. Oh. You let me know when I can make it. Oh yeah, I'm just sitting here <laughs> hogging well, the thing. I can, I... I can pull it out real quick if you're ready. Hold on a second. Yep. Alright, there you go. Oops. There we go. That's weird. Got that. And then what were the pipes called? The conduit? Uh, flux ducts. Flux. There we go. Leadstone so. should work. You wouldn't need harden. Uh, leadstone would give you more than enough power. Actually, let's take that one off. And let's put it right there. Beautiful. All right, now we both can craft. Uh-oh. That's a lie. Don't! I did a terminal, not a crafting terminal. <sighs> <laughs> well, you need a terminal to make a crafting terminal, right? Do you? I was trying to be nice. I hope you're right, but I don't check, think you check are. Check it out. Well, I'm usually wrong, so... 
Oh, nope, you're right. Hooray! Hey, I told you I was right. I knew. I knew what I was doing. <laughs> look at look at all of this, dude. We cleared so much stuff out. How much inventory is full? Oh, we've still got plenty of room. Wood. One and a half are full. Oh, really? And two, yeah, four. Okay, one's fully, one drive is full. The second is with types. 39 out of 63, and then two of them have zero. Nice. We are getting through this. And we're already at time. Are we really? Yes. 20 oh, minutes. Man. Well, Flabba. this just flew on by. All right. So we'll get working on the auto tree farm and transferring stuff here in just a minute. I guess next episode for you guys. So we'll see you in a bit. Bye bye. I'll see ya. Bye bye. Bye. Alright, so we got a list of things we still need to do. What are you going to do today? Well, today I'm going to build a little area so hopefully animals will start spawning. Because huh. um, I like to eat steak, you know? <laughs> I don't know about you. 